guys, I just got home from another wonderful weekend away. Um, we went to Sanibel Island and Captiva Island, which is on the west coast of Florida. I was able to travel with two couples that we have known for a really long time. When our kids were small, we all hung out together, and then as the kids got older and everyone started to do their own thing, we kind of, we didn't really lose touch, we didn't hang out as much. But now that we all are kind of experiencing the empty nest, some of us to greater degrees than others, we decided we would start going on little weekend getaways. So this was our first one. Um, we hope to go to the mountains in October, and I've told them all, be prepared to be on YouTube. So since I have been traveling and I look forward to traveling some more, I thought I would show all of you what I take in my travel bag. So let's get started. All right guys, well this is my travel bag. Some of you may have seen this in a yard sale find video. It's a guess travel bag. Um, I, res I think I paid maybe two or three dollars for it. I'm not 100% sure if I got it actually at a garage sale or at a thrift store. But I like it because it's a nice big size. It's pink, but it has this nice beige trim, which coordinates really nice with my gold travel luggage. So you can see it's a nice big bag. It has three separate zippered pockets. And another feature that I really like is this back piece right here. You see how it's, this slides right over the handle of my rolling suitcase. So I can just slide it on this and my suitcase and make it to the room, no problem. So let's get started with what I have in my bag. In this first pocket, it doesn't expand, so it's kind of a nice tight-fitting pocket. I actually keep my body lotion and my perfumes in here. Now these are mine, and this is my husband's. Um, he just received this for Father's Day. Aqua de Gio from Giorgio Armani. This smells so good. Love this. And then I just brought this time Victoria's Secret's Bombshell, the Sparkle Edition, and Bombshell perfume and I like the sparkle lotion especially when you are in the sun because it gives your tan a little glow so those are those items and when I pack I try to keep these separate so they don't bang we don't go on airplanes a lot so we always drive and then I just put my curling iron in this nice tight bag I did double check this time and made sure we had a blow dryer if not I would have put my blow dryer in this pocket as well then in this middle pocket, now this pocket expands. This is the nice big center pocket. You see how nice that expands. In here I have my, I packed it nice and tight, my Arbon travel set. And everything I need comes in this little gold bag. I was able to purchase this as a purchase with purchase when I um, purchased my Arbonne skincare lotion. I did do a video on this. I will link it down below. So everything I need is in here. My bath, poof. I have body wash, face wash, day lotion, night lotion, neck cream, serum, body serum, toner. Everything is in this bag and it stays in this bag. Whoops. So all I have to do is grab it, put it in my travel bag and off I go and I know that I have everything um, even if I forget this lotion, I know I have another body lotion. Then in here I have, this is my big kahuna for toiletries. And I like this bag because it unfurls like this. Let me move this big bag out of the way a little bit. So why I like this is it has this nice hook and I hook it right on the back of the door of the hotel. And then my husband can see where everything is. I can see where everything is and we can just put it all back as we go. So we'll start at the top, so everything falls off my bed. At the top, I have toothbrushes, razor, because I shave my legs every night, I can't stand it. This time I brought eye drops because I knew we would be swimming a lot in the ocean and in the pool and I don't want blood red shot eyes. I have a barrette, a hair tie, and a clip. And the most important thing I have discovered is a foot scraper. You know, just one of those little like sandpaper type things. If you go to a hotel and the sheets aren't high quality, all the little dry flakes on your feet will catch and that makes me crazy and then I can't sleep. So I actually purchased this um, the last time we went away and I had forgotten it. So now I just know it stays in our travel bag all the time and it's there. And you can see that I purchased this at the thrift store it was $4.94. I didn't take the price off yet. Then this next pocket here 
holds our, I have body wash and body lotion. It just smells a little bit better from Bath and Body Works if I want to change things up. Um, I have my husband's soap in a travel container because he needs a certain soap. He's very allergic, um, so he always has his special soap. Then another thing is earplugs. These earplugs, these are Max Pillow Soft Silicone Putty Earplugs. As you know, my husband snores, and we do not sleep in the same bed at home. So trying to sleep in the same bed on vacation while he snores would be impossible without earplugs. Very important. Then the next thing I bring, this is called Midnight PM. Um, it's an over-the-counter sleep aid. It doesn't have any drugs in it. It has melatonin and I think valerian root. And you can take it at any time during the night. Let's say you take it at 4 o'clock in the morning and then you wake up at 8. You won't feel groggy. You'll feel fine. So I always pack these so they help me to sleep. Then in the, this, now these pockets don't really expand. They're just, you know, zipper pockets, but they're nice and clear. So in this pocket I have shampoo, conditioner, both of our deodorants, and then this is just ibuprofen that I put in an old prescription bottle so I don't care, you know, I don't want to have to spend extra money on a travel size. I just threw it in here. Now this last pocket does expand. It is an expanding pocket. So in here I have hair brushes, my comb, and my hairspray. So everything is right there and I, as I use it I can just put it right back in here so I'm not cluttering up the vanity with all of my junk because you know hotel bathrooms are not very large. So here is the whole bag. You can see it's quite long. I'm just going to lay it across my bed here. So now we get down to the final pocket. And again, it's a smaller pocket. It doesn't expand, but it's a nice size. And in here, I have this pill container. And I do put some of our prescription medications in one of these little squares, but actually what I use this for is my earrings, my jewelry, anything that I can fit. And this is a bigger pill container, not one of those little tiny ones. See if I can open it. So you can see in here, I have different earrings and then they won't get tangled, they won't get lost. I can put them right in here. And no, I did not coordinate them by the day when I was wearing my outfit because you know when you travel, you change your mind. So this works perfect and it just slides right in the bag. Nothing gets lost, nothing gets tangled, and this is perfect for my jewelry. The next thing I have is a sleep mask. Um, I happen to use one of these every night because the room that I sleep in gets very bright first thing in the morning because it's east facing. So I always bring one to the hotel with me because I never know if my husband wants to stay up and watch TV. Um, I can pop this on, put my earplugs in, and then he doesn't bother me. So I always have an eye mask. And then the last bag that I have in my travel bag is my makeup bag. Now this is a Victoria's Secrets makeup bag. I did purchase this at a thrift store. It was $2.52. Um, again, it has a hook, and this time I hooked it right on the shower bar, and I had everything I needed. And also because it folds up so nice, if my husband is in the bathroom and I need to put my makeup on, I can just grab this and go sit on the couch and put my makeup on. So in this very first pocket, I have all of my smaller makeup items, concealer. I have, this time I brought two different lipsticks. I brought a pinky color and a nude color. I have a waterproof mascara and a regular mascara. And then every night by my bedside, I keep a Nivea lip balm. So this went with me. And as I pack my makeup and things for vacation, I keep this right next to my vanity. And as I use an item, I put it in the bag. So I know I have it. I haven't forgotten anything because if I've used it, it's in the bag, then I know I need it. I may forget something extra, but I know I have everything I need for a full face makeup. So in this middle pocket, now this is a little wider than the other one, it kind of holds a little bit more. I have a hand mirror so that I can put my makeup on in another room if I need to. I have my Arbonne bronzer, and I use this for contouring, I use it to add a little color. Um, sometimes I use this on my legs if I've got really white legs, which normally I do. I'll just use a big puff brush and put this on my legs. This was wonderful. If you watch my Victoria's Secrets haul video, you know I bought this little travel, four little travel compacts, and everything I needed was in here. Blush, 
gel eyeliner, four different eyeshadows, lip gloss. Of course, I did bring my own brushes, but this was perfect. This is all I used for the three days. So this worked out fabulous. I have my Revlon Photo Ready Compact. I use this as a base. I don't like to wear a lot of heavy base makeup. And in 97% humidity, I don't want to melt. So this is what I use. I have my primer. I did pack an extra gel eyeliner because I found that Victoria's Secret one just took a little too much time. It didn't cover as quick. So this was small and I just threw it in the bag. And then I did bring this time a little bottle of nail polish. This was the polish I was wearing so I could do any touch-ups I needed. In the future, I think I'll put this in a, a separate Ziploc bag and then put it in here in case it were to break. Um, I would hate to ruin all my makeup with, what is this color? Sonic Bloom Nail Polish. And then the final pocket right here is for my brushes. And again, as I use them, I threw them in here. I'm not crazy about them all being loose. I may make something uh, like a makeup brush roll or something so they're tighter. But what I did when I got to the hotel, I just scooped them all out of the bag. I grabbed a drinking glass from the kitchen and I popped them all in the glass so they stayed nice. And again, as I used them before I left, I put them in here so I knew I had everything I needed. Zip it up. So all of these bags just fit back into my guest travel bag. Again, you know, I pack for my husband and I. Obviously, he doesn't wear makeup. If he did, I'd be concerned. Um, but then he knows where everything is, and if he wants to pack something, this always stays pretty much together. This is always in the travel part of my closet. The makeup obviously gets packed because I use makeup every day. But this is very convenient for us as we travel um, for both of us. So I hope you enjoyed my what's in my travel bag video. Please subscribe if you have not. Um, I will be linking the vlog from our Sanibel trip down below from our Better Together vlogging channel. So I will see you in the next video. Bye!